Hey, Clip Brown here. Just want to do a quick blog post before I go pick up my three-year-old from preschool. I just read an article from Brian Tracy about the power of positive thinking, and there's a lot of stuff online regarding this topic. And I'll put the link below so you can, uh, you know, jump over there and read the article yourself. But I'm, I'm, I'm so shocked at how, how depending on the situation, depending on the environment, we either anticipate struggles and challenges and have the right uh, self-thinking or self-talk to get through those challenges, or we're completely taken off guard and are just like, oh my gosh, this is challenging. I can't believe it. You know, I, I recently uh, went hiking with 12 guys in Colorado, and we hiked, uh, we summited this uh, 14er, which is not a big not a big hill in, in Colorado, but a pretty decent uh, size uh, mountain for those of us from the Great Plains. And, you know, those of us who've done those types of hills before, we know that, you know, I, I fully anticipated um, uh, that my feet were going to be sore. They're probably going to get wet and muddy. I was probably going to get scraped. Um, the altitude was going to give me a headache. Um, I might have a nosebleed. Uh, I'm probably going to get rained or snowed on because it was, uh, you know, uh, getting into the fall. And, um, you know, I can get sunburned. I might get rained on. It might be too windy. There's challenges. And uh, it's climbing a mountain. I mean, what what do you expect? But there were guys that went along on the trip that were just like, "Oh my gosh, it's raining! I, how can we be on a mountain and it be raining? Are you kidding me? It's Colorado. It's the Rockies. We're in Rocky Mountain National Park. Anything could happen. You get rained on and in a blizzard and then sunburned and it'd be eighty degrees again in twenty minutes. Um, you got to anticipate those challenges. You know, building a business." Um, let me tell you folks, it's stinking hard. In fact, if it's not hard, you're probably doing something wrong. You're probably not building a business. It's supposed to be a challenge. It's designed to challenge you and push you. You know, all those great leaders who've gone before us, go back and read some of their biographies or autobiographies. Some of them didn't have the prettiest road to success. And you know what? Some of them didn't find success until late in life. They knew the goal they had in mind and they pushed for it. And companies that we worship, like Apple, you know, we all say we are not worthy to what Apple's doing. Um, go read Apple's struggles in the 80s. Um, it hasn't been all peaches and cream and iPods for Apple. But their self-talk, you know, Tracy's article, to get back to self-talk, it's what are you telling yourself when you're going through these challenges? When I'm going up the mountain, you know, I'm telling myself, doesn't this feel good? Isn't the oxygen clear up here and the air clear? And it, you know, it's my legs are sore like I thought, and I feel good. I'm pushing forward. I brought my snacks. I got my energy bar. I'm rocking and I'm rolling. Um, and when it starts raining, I'm like, yeah, I got my raincoat. Here we go. Let's put it on. Let's keep going, man. I'm telling myself I got this great dialogue going. Other people see that, and they're just reactionary like, oh, gosh, it's raining. I got to stop. Humans melt in the rain. You know, when you're building your business, I mean, let's be honest with yourself. You're going to get rejected. It's going to be hard. You're going to get pushed. People are going to tell you no. You're going to upset people. That's just how it works. Um, if you're not anticipating those things, you're not ready for them. Then when they happen, you just get destroyed. You're just like, oh my gosh, I've done something wrong. Somebody told me no. Oh, I thought it was just going to be a snap of the fingers and I was going to retire. I mean, my my sponsor said it was easy for them. Yeah, why don't you set them down and ask them about all their horror stories. Guarantee you they got a few. And they're doing great now because they're confident and they know what to do and they're not reactionary. They're proactive. They see those things coming a mile away. So embrace the challenges. Change your self-talk. When you start to go, oh, you know, when that when you feel that face coming on, that face, we all have that face, there's, there's self-talk going in your head. Turn it off. Quit talking to yourself about that kind of stuff. Say, I can do this. This is going to be hard. I'm getting pushed. I'm getting challenged. I've got another no for the list for the day. Take so many no's to get a yes. Let's make it happen. So thanks for the great article, Brian Tracy. Put your comments below. See ya.